with I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. We move along to race number three on the program, 2,400 meters the distance. This will be the start of the pick six, and it is a middle stakes, 13.50 is the off time for race number three, the time that you need to get uh, your bets on by. Market quantifier, 5-2, to two, 28 to 10, about twice golden. It's then 5-1 to one, about Seisura. You've got 11-2, to two, Aurora Storm, 6-1, to one, Rockfall, 10-1, to one, and better by all those. Now, number seven, twice golden, a very, very good, Smart ride from Richard Furry last time out to get this horse home. He beat Cybertime. Cybertime has since come out to win. And I think this horse can follow up on that victory. He's a horse that is obviously finding his feet. He's a six-time winner from 48 outings. Very positive that Richard Furry sticks with the ride. He's one from one aboard this individual. And I think that uh, the conditions on, on Monday will actually suit twice golden. He... He's a horse that enjoys the distance. He's run well over track and trip. So I think he's got every opportunity to go on and, and get the job done in this contest uh, once again. So he will be the top selection for me. You've got horses that are sort of, that are getting the weight off the back that could be effective. The likes of uh, Safe Space, who likes to go forward. Rockfall is another horse that can press forward on his day. He sometimes likes to be uh, dropped out and given a chance. He's... He's a bit erratic, number four, Rock Four, but if you catch him right on the right day, he's a horse that could certainly run a big race. And at six to one with the four cages off the back, he could be a player, along with number one, Safe Space, who ran a very improved race last time out. And on Monday, he gets more weight off the back. He only carries 49 cages from a barrier position one. So he's likely to go out and be the pace setter in this contest with the Brevin Plykis taking the, taking the ride. Number Eight Seisura, he's a horse that um, has proven himself uh, over the distance, although um, I think this race is slightly more competitive than uh, the field that he beat when, uh, when beating Alverni King. You've got Aurora Storm that's having his first run for, the, for new stable, Allison Wright. He's also returning off a rest, and uh, he's yet to prove himself over this uh, extended trip of 2,400 meters. So that is a bit of a question mark with number nine, Aurora Storm, as well as uh, his rest plus one stat. Stone read too well, four runs for four blank efforts. So he's a runner that uh, possibly does well with a couple of runs under the belt. And uh, looking elsewhere, I don't think the, the horses like uh, True Trojan and Mystic Rouge could be competitive straight out the maidens. I think they'll have their work cut out. Didn't beat the strongest of maiden fields, and uh, I think they've got more to do. So, race number three, top choice. Gonna, I'm going to stick with number seven, Twice Golden. He's a proven horse over these trips. He's a six-time winner that's taken on one-time winners. You've got two-time winners and three-time winners here. He's the most experienced campaigner. And obviously, Seisura is the only ten-time winner in this contest. And Seisura, if putting it all together, he'll certainly be a factor. But I think number seven, Twice Golden, he's in the right type of uh, space at the moment, despite going up six points for his uh, last success. I think he'll be very, very competitive. And then I think you could include the likes of uh, number one, Safe Space, number three, Quantifier, four, Rockfall, and a horse like a number eight, Seisura, into those uh, exactest trifectas and quartet position. But place accumulator-wise, barpod-wise, I'm going to be with number seven, Twice Golden. I think he's a horse to beat, and I think he'll go very, very close to notching up his seventh career victory. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.